Hello everybody. Today I'll be talking about discipline, its benefits and just in general. I will start off with a story. So just a couple minutes ago, I was sitting right here on this couch and I'm thinking to myself, maybe, just maybe I shouldn't do another video today. I thought, 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 then I came, sit down, turned on the camera, and started talking. Or the other time when I didn't feel like exercising behind the camera right there, there's a counter and shit, corner of the counter where I do dips most often, I train my splits and all the other stuff, push-ups and stuff. And my mother has went upstairs, she's like, you come in an hour to shower. And I'm like, yeah, let me exercise first. And I'm sitting there coping. No, no, rest day, yeah, rest day, rest day. When my rest days are Tuesdays and Saturdays. So I cope, cope, cope. And then I said, let me just do 20 push-ups. I do the 20 push-ups and I'm done with the 20 push-ups. Then I get this new idea. What if I do another 20 dips and another different type of 20 push-ups like on the fist, on the fingers, clap push-up, uh, plyometric push-up, one leg push-up, one arm push-up, side to side typewriter, blah, 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 right? And I do it and then I'm like, yeah, let me go downstairs, which downstairs is where my pull-up bar is. I went downstairs like, let me do some pull-ups. I did 20, 20. And I'm like, let's train uh, one arm, negatives. I trained that, did abs, uh, L raises, L sits. There I also did L sits on the counter where I do my dips. Overall, I took the discipline to do the exercise. Now I believe there's a lot of men who have problem with consistency, consistency with their exercises. For me, it is second-hand nature right now. Maybe there will come a time when I'm like, no, I don't feel like doing exercising and I'll use my discipline to do it. Discipline is not you feeling motivated like, yeah, I got this motivation from this David Goggins video. Stay hard. Let me go hit a workout. No, that's not what I am. Motivation is Neither is uh, What did I say? Did I say that's not what motivation is? No, that is motivation But that's not what discipline is if you go with your friend Somewhere you see a calisthenics park you guys are sitting there and Your friend is exercising you aren't you feel accountable uh, if you feel that he's holding you accountable for not exercising. You feel like left out. So you go and you exercise. That is also not discipline. Discipline is the act of not feeling or not wanting to do it, but you still do it because you're a man. Life has never been easy as a man. Never has. Middle, uh, middle ages, they fucking went into your kingdom, stabbed everybody, took the wives, and the females they reproduce the females in their own kingdom fucking caveman times they didn't have no uh, pills fucking vaccines antibiotics to heal you no they just died from fucking natural sickness men went hunting women are gathering men went hunting and died because of a fucking boar who stabbed him in the fucking chest Or when everything was manipulated and then the resistance came in and went against all of the manipulators. I don't know, man. Right now, we are in the age of comfort and consuming. We consume and consume and consume all types of content. Another thing that is disciplinary 
<clears throat> that takes discipline is the act of feeling like doing something bad but not doing it and having the discipline to not do it discipline is this thing where feelings you don't listen to your feelings you think you think logically and then you execute you don't listen to your feelings you listen to your mind and you attack accordingly logically you play the chess game you do the thing that you think will push you further forward digging your pathway to success you feel like masturbating what do you do you don't do it that's discipline it is even the smallest things in the morning you wake up you don't do your bed you're like it's not like i'm not gonna sleep in the afternoon well it takes discipline to make your bed your room is full of shit okay your room just clothes everywhere just a mess you're like one day i'll clean it yeah yeah next day maybe you don't do it i want you if your room is dirty or you got a cupboard that is dirty i want you to pause the video go and clean up it clean clean it up clean up your room or the cupboard i'll be waiting a couple seconds okay now for the people who have clean ass rooms because they have got the discipline to keep it clean, maintained. I want you to get on the ground and do 10 push ups with me. So I'm gonna move the camera right here. Boom. Guys, got a good view? Don't worry, it's just. The Andrew Tate podcast I was watching from uh, George Janko, I think. I don't know. Okay. When you do your push-ups, scapula like this, and you're trying to twist this arm like this and this one like this. Then you go like this. One. And look down. Two. Three. <sighs> breathe in when you're up. Breathe out when you're down. Now, for the people that want to do more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. Ah, 20. Now, I don't think what I just did, a lot of people couldn't do 20. Average American doesn't even do a push-up. And if they do one push-up, it's bad form. It's just that simple. <clears throat> Sometimes my voice gets deep because I'm tired or it's just, bro, I'm 16, I'm in puberty. What you expect, man? Also, if you're in puberty, eat a lot of food. Consume as much as possible. That goes for males and females. Also, if you watch my last video, I'm sorry for the quality. It was like 2040p. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to fix that. I'll find out a way. It's my second video. It's a little bit planned. I plan to do uh, talking about discipline and stuff. Another thing I forgot to talk about before we did the push-ups was having the discipline not, to not cheat on your female, your girlfriend, your wife. Okay, but I believe we'll talk about females and relationships in another video and I'll cover a bit more of The Way of the Superior Man. I definitely recommend you buy that book 
for a book that's talking about discipline don't really have any recommendations just yet maybe in the future when i make another follow-up to a discipline video where i've became wiser more wisdom in me from other males like andrew tate that i'm watching right now i think it's the okay it doesn't show with all that said let's recap what did you learn in this video i don't want you to watch a video and not take and just fix it in your brain okay me giving you this content and me learning you this stuff makes me also smarter you become smarter by explaining it you become smarter by explaining it to a dumbass why because explaining okay now i'm not saying you're a dumbass okay maybe you are maybe you're retarded i don't know i don't care there is not a single person on this planet that is retarded i believe because there's always someone that is like utterly stupid at like school gets zero out of ten and stuff like that but he's extremely good at other subjects he's probably fucking like got 10 out of 10 in sports class and a 0 out of 10 in mathematics everybody has its strong points and its weak points yeah that's just life and me explaining you this stuff like explaining to a dumbass is different to explaining to a smart person explaining to a dumbass how to i don't know send a cold Cold, um, cold mail, I think. Yeah, for your business and stuff. Right? If you are explaining it to a dumbass, you'll have to go like this. Turn on the PC. No. You say, click this button on the PC. Next, turn on the P when the PC is turned on. P type your password. Log into your PC go to google gmail or icloud or outlook whatever mailing you have a mail you've got then go find a script write it down send it to like a thousand people with small businesses big businesses local or far away give them your offer a time when they can communicate with you you've got like your phone number and stuff and then it probably be, will be like one person that answers like if you send it to a thousand because i don't think if you do it for the first time you will uh, get anything now this is what you learned in this video we talked about discipline Discipline, what is it? It is not feeling like doing something, but you still do it. Feeling like doing something and you don't do it. Okay, that is first things we talked about. Next was stuff you could do to become more disciplinary. Making your bed, cleaning up your room, doing push-ups when you don't feel like it, etc. Next up was me talking about how to explain to a dumbass and how to explain to a smart person. When you explain to a dumbass, you need to explain step by step. If you said, send a cold mail, I don't know what you call it, cold mailing? Yeah, probably. Send a cold mail, a cold mail right now. The smart guy is like, right, I'm on it. Turns on his PC, does all the steps and boom, he's already sent a thousand to a thousand different people the dumbass need to do it step by step and from who did i learn that alex mosey i recommend you uh, subscribe to him if you want subscribe to me i hope you've had an amazing day i hope you've prayed if you haven't do a prayer be grateful for everything you've got think about it if you lost your hands Today, right now, it got chopped off. 
you would pay millions to get it back, right? So be grateful for your hands. Even the smallest things you should be grateful for. You're praying to God so that you can become taller. You don't become taller. You should still be grateful I'm tall. I'm grateful that I'm this tall and I hope I get taller. If you get shorter, be grateful that I know it's like weird. Like let's say plant crops, they aren't good, right? They're not going in good, okay? You don't have a lot of people buying your crops because they suck. Pray to God, might that be if you're a Christian, Orthodox, Protestant, Muslim, I don't know. Pray, say thank you for this wonderful day where my crops, even though if they're not good, I will pray because I'm grateful for my crops, right? The devil just wants you to focus on those bad stuff. When you end the day, forget about all of the bad stuff that happened. All of it. Okay? And just focus on those minor little good things. And just journal, gratitude journal. Be grateful to God. And have a phenomenal night, morning, whatever. And maybe if I have the discipline... I'll see you in another video.